welcome to another episode of VTV. We are your new host, Luis. And we are the Ecuadorian Cristina, the Portuguese of the Pedro Romero Sound Festival. Okay, so I'm here with Oren Kelly, and I'm going to ask you, him some questions about the basketball team. So, how have your practices been going? The practices have been going pretty good. Um, Showing a lot of improvement since the beginning of the season to now. Six games in, we're still doing pretty good. All right. Um, how do you think the team has played? The team has played overall good basketball. We go in and we get what we need to get done. Um, I think there's still room for improvement, but with a lot of time in the season left, we can get it done. Okay. And how do you think the team is as a whole? As a whole, the chemistry is pretty well. Everybody, you know, gets along and jokes around some here and there, but we all know what we're there for, and um, everybody knows their job, so there's no confusion there. Okay. And now we get to see how successful Cindy and Cecilia are in their segment of picking up guys. Okay, how do you feel when a girl gives you a pickup line? Well, it's kind of, kind of unusual, right? Because normally the guy asks the girl and gives her a pickup line. Yeah. Well, a girl doesn't usually do that. Um, it's kind of weird in my opinion, and I think the man should. Um, do it instead of girl. Would you say yes or no? Um, yes. Yes? Oh, thanks. How did you feel that a girl gave you a pickup line? Well, I felt like she was uh, too direct uh, and she just came out of nowhere uh, telling me that and I felt very surprised. And I guess, yeah, I'm surprised that she just came up to me and told me. I thought she was playing, but probably just a joke. Did you feel good, awkward? Uh, no, kind of awkward. Yeah, kind of awkward a little bit. Why, you have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> How do you feel <laughs> when a girl gives you a pickup line? At first, I mean, it's sort of, I find it kind of normal, but I feel like the guy has to approach him, but it's also if I know the person. If I don't know that I'm not going to go up to them, like, they might do something to me, they might not. Oh, okay, thanks. Let's see. With the dragon one retirement, too hot. Hot damn. Say my name, you know who I am, I'm too hot. Hot damn. Gonna have all that money. Girls, it's your hallelujah. Girls, it's your hallelujah. Girls, it's your hallelujah. This uptown funk gon' give it to you. This uptown funk gon' give it to you. This uptown funk gon' give it to you. Saturday night and we in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Come on. Morning.
now I'll get to see how the desk club bust their moves. And it's behind the scene edition with Loretta and Cam. Hello, my name is Cam Perez, and today's segment is on the Veritas Dance Club. You decided to join dance club. I was trying to start it since my freshman year. Actually, like I was trying to start dancing because a lot of people were like interested in dance and stuff. So I was trying to start a dance team my freshman year, but it didn't start to like my junior. Year, which is this and what is one thing that you would like everybody to know about dance club that's special about it? Um, since we are such a small group of people, I think we really get to know one another. We're really, really, really a big fan. Recommend anybody else to join? As of the moment, I wouldn't, but um, maybe because we are potentially getting a new member. Um, but I would say check it out. But right now, since we have a lot of choreography done, um, transitions wouldn't work as well. So yeah. Fatima is guiding search at the school to see if Veritas has talent. Hi, my name is Fatima. Hi, my name is Karen. And our segment is Veritas Has Talent. I'm telling you for your own good and not because I'm. I can show you how to be strong in the real way. And I know that we can be strong in the real way. And I want to inspire you. I want to be your rock. And when I talk, it lights up fire in you. Interrupting class should never be done. Would you agree? Yes, I would. But Chewy and Solo shows exactly what it takes to interrupt a class properly. Guys, we're gonna go check out what our like, gym class is doing right now. Come on, let's go check. Which is up to two by you <laughs> Yeah, whoever laughs next, I'm getting you next. So um, are you doing good? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you got an NDA. Get that, get that, get that. Alright guys, we're gonna go to Alyssa right now. Alyssa! Alright, let's come in and see what you guys doing. Alright, what are you doing? What class is this? Physical science. Get that. Get that, Joey. Last but not least, Marcos and Lalo go around interviewing students of what the thanks to you. What's up? My name is Zach. Hi, my name is Holly. And we're here to interview them for the Thanksgiving segment. What are you guys thankful for? Staff at Veritas are very nice. I'm thankful for that. Thankful for all, all the friendly students. Thankful for my family. Thankful for having shelter. How about you, Ollie? I'm thankful for having a roof over my head, wood in my stomach, and clothes on my back. Hey, my name is Alan Petroza. And I am Jessica Avila. We're here to interview them. What do you plan to do on Thanksgiving, Alan? Well, I plan to uh, spend it with my family, hopefully, and you know, have all of us be kind of like a reunion, eat a lot. And, and you, Jessica? I also plan to be with my family and spend some quality time with them. <laughs> 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 Sorry, 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 So, Nina, how do you feel leaving as a class together in this team? Um, I think it's really a special thing about Veritas that we get together and uh, give thanks and eat together and all sit together as friends. Um, I don't think a lot of schools do that, so that's really great about Veritas. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you everyone for tuning in on this episode of DTV and be on the lookout for the next episodes. Brought to you by DTV Vienna and your Veritas Journalism Club.